Here's the team, the 12 member team that has been set up. Let's bring it up and tell you who the comprise of. It's going to be co chaired by Juan Johnson Sakaja, Senator Nairobi, and Moses Wetangelo, the Senator from Bungoma. There's also Mohamed Mohamud, Senator Mandera, and Stewart Mazayo, who's a Senator for Kilifi. The list goes on because there are 12 in total from opposing sides. Kipchumba Murkom and Senator for Elgeo Marakwit will also be there. Mutula Kilonzo Jr., who's a Senator for Makweni. Suzanne Kihika, who's a Senator for Nakuru. And Samson Cherargei, who's a Senator for Nandi as well. And the list continues. Moses Kajuang is a Senator for Homa Bay. And Anwar Loitiptip, the Senator for Lamu. And John Kinua, Senator for Laikipia. And Ledama Olekina the senator for Narok. We'll also be speaking to Ledama Olekin in just a bit to make the heads and tails of all this. But Gashuri, what then is the game plan from here? Uh, basically what now this committee will try to do is to find a consensus formula. Um, remember there have been two opposing sides on the floor of the house mm -hmm. and that was manifested on the floor of the house today yeah. as the two sides cobbled. Uh, we'll come there. But now what this committee will seek out to do yeah. is to try and bring together this opposing sides to come up with one consensus formula so that the next sitting of the house probably there will be a consensus that they can now agree on like a win-win form, uh, formula of sort mm -hmm. um, they meet tomorrow at 2 30 pm to uh, lay out a plan of activities and thereafter uh, members of that committee will uh, meet on wednesday on thursday and on friday and if they will have come up with a formula then they will meet again uh, with the entire Senate team on Monday yeah. for an informal sitting, popularly known as a kamukunji. Mm -hmm. um, and once they do that, then if a special sitting of the Senate will have been gazetted on Tuesday, then they can come and pass that formula. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, reason will prevail because um, there has been a lot of uh, contestation and a bit of uh, ego wars, if you like it. Mm -hmm. And hopefully now the senators will uh, try and seek a, a consensus, yeah. a solution on how to go about it. So these formulas that are highlighted here, none of them are applying this time, right? What are they likely to come up with? If they come up with a, a consensus formula, it will yeah. basically mean um, the various amendments to the Finance Committee formula that is current, uh, Finance Committee report and formula that is currently on the floor of the house will stand vacated mm -hmm. and so that the senate now deals with one um, uh, formula uh, beca because as we speak now yes. what is currently on the floor of the house is the finance committee report as amended because um, senator mythical Linturi of meru uh, last week mo uh, moved an amendment the one that that you just read yeah. uh, giving a 270 billion shillings baseline uh, is um, the one that will be used to share the, uh, to, uh, the 316 billion shillings to 47 counties. Yeah. And the remainder of 46 billion will be shared using the new formula. Mm -hmm. And there was also another um, uh, uh, proposal, an amendment that was on the floor of the House today uh, by Senator Petronila Were, the nominated senator. Uh, she was proposing that uh, the county uh, allocation be increased to 348 billion shillings. Before then, mm -hmm. status quo remains. That is, use the last formula that was used in the last financial year yeah. to share resources to the 47 counties in the 2020-2021 financial year. Yeah. And if the increase um, as projected or up to 348 billion shillings will be affected, mm -hmm. then the new formula will kick in as at that point. The only challenge with that, Trevor, is that is there a promise is there a confirmation mm -hmm. that the amount, amount of money will increase to 348 billion shillings? Because in the last three or four years, yeah. the amount of money devolved to counties has increased very marginally from 314 billion to 316.5 billion shillings. Yeah. So an increase of about 2.5 billion shillings in about three years. Yeah. So where, where is that promise that the money will increase to 348 billion shillings? Yeah. And that is why there were some jitters among some senators that while we may pass this formula, yeah. there is no guarantee that the amount of money allocated to counties will increase to 348 billion shillings. But Gashuri, also emotions ran high today. Why was there so much commotion in uh, the Senate? Because the government basically played rough game, you know, high tacos, yeah. uh, if you may call it. Why? Because three senators were arrested, and, and obviously it's clear that why they were arrested. The, the arrest was to uh, tinker with the numbers yeah. uh, of the team that was calling itself Team Kenya. Um, by denying them three senators, they would have been disadvantaged to about 22 senators. Mm -hmm. And remember, the magic number was 24, or is 24, whenever you're passing any formula or any matter that is touching on uh, counties directly. Yeah. So 24 delegations out of 47 must 
must vote in support. Okay. So the arrest today denied yeah. the so-called Team Kenya three senators. Yeah. And then there was also another hidden card there because if the substantive elected senator is not present, yeah. then there is voting by delegation where other members who are nominated senators and belong to that delegation yeah. can vote on the on behalf of the elected senator if he's not present. But you saw you saw what uh, Malala did and what Langa did. They, they wrote the to the speaker withdrawing yeah. consent, meaning that the nominated senators would not vote on their behalf. Okay. So that's how the numbers were to play out, and that is the reason why there was that acrimony as you saw it on the floor of yeah. the house. Any of the emotions we were talking about? Absolutely. With the Gashuri. Well, my secretary is on the 10 days leave, <laughs> which was given by the president, and therefore he was not available. Mr. Speaker, sir, we are just from Kitengela, where we uh, were able to see what our friend was going through. His own vehicle, they remove all the fuel from the vehicle so that he cannot enter. You know, his power, they decided to disconnect it. Water, they decided to disconnect it so that they can actually intimidate. I know the trick. Those who are peddling a dangerous formula of dividing revenue in this country are using. They think without these three, they have 24 senators to pass this ugly formula. We will not allow it. We feel for our brothers who are currently uh, having issues, but no one has shown any connection between that arrest and this session at all. Mr. Speaker, I have been here long enough and I can read through the crude strategy that is being employed by those who are pushing for this formula. It is you, Mr. Speaker, who has been defied. And Mr. Speaker, if you cannot sit on that seat, this will be a good time to resign, I can sit there. Mr. Speaker, if you are not under any pressure and nobody has called you, Mr. Speaker, this session must end now. This government cannot arrest a person on the basis of wanting to stop his democratic right to vote in a certain ah. way. It cannot. There are no children. I have been majority leader and deputy majority leader in this house for more than five years. The magic 24 number, we were 25 voting in this house last week. Mr. Speaker, the desire was to reduce us from 25 to 23. And Mr. Speaker, achieve the objective of defeating the will of the people. Mr. Speaker, you can't tell us we should just proceed. It is not possible. We are now engaging in lamentations. And uh, la lamenting, you can do it forever. And, and somebody can be sitting there and saying, you know, let them talk until tomorrow. But I don't want us to be the house of lamentation. I am the champion of this revenue formula on one man, one vote, one shilling. But when it comes to impunity, and forcing people to make choices, Mr. Speaker, I am afraid I will not be party to coercion and blackmail so that people can make a certain decisions. If someone is arrested, we senators, are not special than the common monarchy. Let the police do their mandate. Let us do our mandate here. We came here today for this special sitting just to discuss this issue of revenue. It is clear that there is no coincidence as to why three members were arrested on the same day that they're coming to vote. Mr. Speaker, and we don't need to be poetic about it. I was with Senator Langata until 5 in the morning. I do not want to reveal the things that the leader of majority was telling him, where he should go, what he should do. Until the three senators are here, no business goes on, Mr. Speaker. There's a time when we have to be actually sincere with ourselves. Nobody would want another member of parliament suffering, another senator suffering, no one. And we will not support. So, this yeah. is the tenth time. Well, they have met nine times yeah. and failed to agree. So they meet again on Tuesday if there will be a consensus, a formula, for the tenth time. Okay. So will it be tenth time lucky? The ultimate question. We will see. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Very, yes. Thank That's you, Francis Gashuri, our political editor, speaking to us about the intrigues when it comes to the Senate drama.